Do you want to be able to send and receive texts from your cell phone through your PC? You know, get call notifications, things like that. Do you want to tie them together? Well, I sure do, and it's not that hard to do. It's a little quirky, so let's show you how to set it up. It doesn't take very long, but let's get through it. So I've got my Samsung phone here, and Samsung's a key. If you don't have a Samsung phone, you have to download the app yourself from the Play Store and install it. If you have a relatively current Samsung device, pretty much anything newer than a Samsung S9, as you can see in this list, you'll already have it installed, most likely. What you want to do is, uh, first thing is click the Start button on your Windows 10 computer and type Your Phone, and you'll see the Your Phone app comes up when you click on it. And it says, what kind of device do you have? And you say, oh, I have an Android phone. Isn't that nice? So I click on that and I click Continue. And it says, you need to have your phone companion installed. Well, fortunately, as I said before, I have a Samsung device. So I already have it installed. And where is that? Well, uh, if I swipe down from the top and then I pull these, these button bar down again, you'll see Link to Windows. That's the actual Your Phone Companion app. Let's just say you don't have it though, and I'll show you how to get it really quickly. So what you wanna do is uh, go to your store, and obviously the Play Store, and you wanna search for Your Phone Companion. Okay, now I've already got it, because I have a modern-ish Samsung phone. So swipe down from the top, pull down on the button bar, and select Link to Windows. Bingo. And then back on the Your Phone app, like, yes, I have finished installing it. Let's just move this over so you can see a little, so you can see both of these at the same time. Okay, and it says, do you want to create a QR code for this? So why, sure I do. And uh, on my Android phone over here, I'm going to say, do you, you know, do you want to link it? Yes, of course I want to link it. That's the point of this. Well, to do that, you're going to need to give us access to your camera. Sure, that's just fine. And you just hold the camera up and it scans the QR code. And what that does, is set up your account information. Now in my case, I have an additional layer of security set up, which is called two-factor authentication, which you probably don't have. So you probably won't have this little prompt that I just got. But if you do, just click OK. And then back on the Your Phone app, click Done because it's done. And then click Allow on the Help Us to Improve, at least I would. And then click, well, I like to allow it to use mobile data. That's very helpful. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. Uh, I don't want this to be pinned to the taskbar, so I'm just gonna click get started. A Little bit of troubleshooting I'm gonna show you. If you have this message up instead, where it's just stuck, I'll show you how to fix it in just a second. But let's just show you what it should look like when it's working fine. I can swipe down from the top, I can pull down on the button bar, and I can see down here, instead of saying linked to Windows, it's already linked up to Windows. It's linked to my monster Dell all in one computer. Okay, so let's say you've got it set up now. What can you actually do? Well, I can click on messages and I can see my messages here. I can create a new message. I can send a text. I can see any alerts that have come through. I can go to my photos and I can drag and drop them. It's just so much easier to view and see these thumbnails here and work with them here than it is to work on it on a tiny little phone. Also, trying to get them off is a pain. You have to plug in a USB cord or alternately, you send them through email to people or you text them. It's just a pain. It's just so much easier to grab them and pull them off. I can even go into my apps. So let's go look at my, let's go to, a, let's look at our Chestmere Recycles app. And this comes up and it says, hey, uh, you need to give us permission. Sure, start now, no problem. So that's kind of neat if you need to get uh, to your, uh, you know, the apps that are on here, your Android apps, you can actually get to them from Windows. That's neat. 
Okay, so in fact, uh, you can make calls with this. Now, all it's doing is using Bluetooth and using the speaker and mic on your laptop or your PC and pushing through to your cell phone, just like your car does. The problem is I've had lots of troubles with this. So we'll go through and try to set this up, but I expect it will fail, at least on this computer. So let's click setup. And what it's going to do is go, yeah, on my phone, it says, you know, you want to uh, set this up with Bluetooth? Sure I do. Yeah, that's the right number. Sure it is. I have focus assist settings on this uh, PC, so I need to adjust it because, of course, you do want it to alert you when there's an inbound message. So let's click open settings and all this does is take us off to focus assist. There we go. So I have to turn focus assist off. There we go. And there we go. The Bluetooth dropped. I don't know whether it's my PC or what it is something's just not right. So for me, making calls is quite frustrating, but it just doesn't seem to work. However, I do want the text notifications and I do want to be able to drag and drop photos in and out of my cell phone right onto my PC. And I do want those text messages coming in uh, and I want to be able to respond to them directly on the PC rather than breaking out the thumbs on the Samsung. If I go to notifications, it's come up and it says, look, we need to have some permissions here. And what we're fixing here also fixes this very annoying check your PC, we need permissions. And now what we need to do is click open settings on your phone. That's a big deal. Otherwise, you'll just be in hell here and it will sit here for a very long time on waiting. And then scroll all the way down to your phone companion and turn it on. And it says, well, do you want to allow this? Yes, of course I do. And bingo life is good. Now, there's a couple of other things you might want to do. The first is to swipe down from the top of your phone and click on the cog and then go to apps and then find your, just pull this down, find your phone companion, click on that. And you might want to make sure that everything is turned on for permissions. So I've already done this before, so mine has everything turned on. Yours, you may not. So if you have something in denied, let's say I want to turn location off. I click on that and say deny. Well, but I actually do want it to know where I am. So I'm going to click OK, especially if I have a laptop. If I have a PC, this makes no difference at all. But you get the idea that that's really all you need to do. The last thing to note here is when you swipe down from the top of your phone, when you pull down again, the the little icon here that used to say linked to Windows now says the name of your PC because it tells you that it's actually linked to that PC. And you can also notice at the top here, there's an icon with a cell phone over top of a laptop that also tells you that linked to PC is working. We'd really appreciate it if you would click like and subscribe as it really helps us with the Google algorithms. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.